Hello everybody, welcome to our new video. In this video, we'll be discussing about table management. In order to take the table orders, you first need to create the tables. For that, you need to go to table management. There, you can find two options, add table and add space. For instance, we have different spaces in the restaurant, such as first floor, second floor and garden area. So, these areas can be added as spaces. Secondly, adding tables. For that, you need to go to add table option. You can create n number of tables. While entering tables, you can allocate table numbers, seating capacity, space and label. Label can be used in different ways by different users according to their requirements. For instance, if you want to assign a particular table to your one of your staffs, you can add it through the label. Now you have learned how to create tables. In this way, you can create all your tables. Let's see how to take dining orders. First, you need to log into your waiter account. After login, you can see counter page. You need to click on new sale. After that, all the tables will be displayed. Click on desired table. After selecting the table, a new pop-up will be displayed on the screen, which has customer name and contact number. You can either fill in the details or ignore it. In the next screen, you can see all the inventory. Select the particular items according to the customer requirement. Then click on send order. This order will be then sent to kitchen. So in our case, we are using KDS for kitchen management. You can view all the orders in KDS app. We successfully took the table orders. Now you can see the running tables in the counter page. Let's see how to generate a bill for this particular order. For that, you need to click on the running table and choose bill now option. Once you click in the next screen, you can see various options for adding discount, tax and other charges if required. Then click on charge button, it will lead you to generate a bill. And if connected to a printer, it will print a receipt. Now we have generated an estimated bill for the particular table. Coming back to the counter page, you can see three options, my, all and due. Let me tell you what this means. My is an option where you can view the tables running under the particular waiter. In all option, you can see all the running tables of the restaurant. Finally, due option. Once the estimate bill is created, the table will move to the due list. It means this table are waiting for the payment collection. In order to clear the due tables, you need to click on the particular table on the due list. Click on the accept payment option. Then you can enter the customer details such as customer contact number and name. After that, select the payment mode and click on the charge button. Now you have made a sale. These sales will then be reflected in the report section. That's it for this video. I hope it helps you out. Until then, goodbye.